Center. We are going to have a good show for you today. We have someone here who just moved to Dallas and he is looking to make his mark on our city. He's coming all the way from New Jersey. So we're going to speak with Jarich in just a little bit. Okay. All say what you want, but I want to see her happy. That's Jaleel Jarich Richwood Jordan. He moved more than 1,500 miles away from New Jersey to make Dallas his home. He joins me to share his story and how he plans to make his mark on the Big D. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So good glad morning. to have you. Look at you. You're already singing. He's feeling good this morning. I have to ask you because this is such a big part of your journey. Before his passing, the So You Think You Can Dance star Twitch interviewed you on Ellen DeGeneres, yes, yes, which yes. is huge. So tell me all about that experience. We all want to know about that well rest in peace twitch yes but um the uh, the experience was amazing um they were amazing california was amazing but um what stuck out to me the most was that i was able to be one of the last contestants or one of the last interviewees on the show before mm -hmm. the show actually went off the air. Yes. So just to be a fragment, a piece of a fragment of that show, just a little bit of what that show stood for, Ellen and her giving back, um, it meant a lot. But to also be interviewed by that talented, gifted mm -hmm. brother, you know what I'm saying, who meant so much to our community, but also to that Ellen show, yes. um, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, they became family and um, yeah, it was just a great experience. It was a great, it was experience, a great experience all the way around. What did all you discuss around. when you were on the show? Um, my community work, mm -hmm. music, but a lot of my giving back, my mentoring programs, things dealing with children. As yeah. I am an educator, my nine to five, I am a teacher. Right. So um, it was all, you know, about community and, you know, giving back and my nonprofit, Victim to Victor. So. Nice, nice. Well, we're going to talk about it ourselves. So how did that make you want to jump and say, I'm going to move to Dallas? Well, um. It was really after the Ellen show, I was already in a season of prayer and um, in that season it was, you know, I was kind of getting stuck, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, where I was. And I never thought that I would leave Jersey, but it was something in me that said it's more, it's more, it's more. So I was just praying for the Lord to enlarge my territory. Yeah. And um, in that waiting season, I didn't know it was going to come by way of the Ellen show. But after the Ellen show, I started getting all this fan mail and all these people just asked me would I be willing to come and work for their districts and for their schools. And I still wasn't too sure. But then I got a call from um, someone in Dallas, a school in Dallas. And I said, you know what, maybe this is my way of, you know, reaching, you know, other people. And this mm -hmm. is a way of me enlarging my territory. The so Lord I, makes a way when you absolutely. ask. Absolutely. <laughs> so I took a, you know, I took a faith move and I just yeah. said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And I did it within two weeks time so wow. he actually did make a way he made a way he right away. away okay yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yes, so he, did. he started a nonprofit. tell me about this nonprofit. um victim to victor outreach i started back in 2017 and it was just a way for me to reach my community where i'm from newark new jersey it was a way for me the, to reach the students that i served yeah. um i saw a lot of them coming to school with you know a lack thereof whether it was their hair not done whether they lack shoes whether it was they lack clothes and I just said, you know, I have to do something about it. I have to be some type of advocate for these kids. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was just a lot that my community was plagued with. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to just be someone that can, you know, be an advocate and be someone of a source of inspiration to say, look, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter the circumstances. Right. Whatever we can do to help you, whether it's with giving you food, whether it's putting clothes in your back, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do yes. that. It's so interesting that you are kind of targeted towards kids because of the simple fact that you have been working hard since you were a kid literally since age 16 he has been finding ways to give back where does that drive come from as a teenager oh my parents my parents were teenage parents they had me at the ages of 16 17 and my mom got pregnant at those ages um her and my dad and um they were just you know um amazing they worked at those ages to provide for me um so um, my dad just was always one of those people that always said to a man that doesn't work, doesn't eat. Mm. So, you know, I was doing everything from fast food, Burger King, KFC, Popeyes, whatever I could. I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? But I did it. You know what I'm saying? And it also just, you know, showed me sustainability. It showed me hard work ethic. So I would really say my parents, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my parents. Shout, shout out, out to, to, the to parents, my parents. Always. Yes, now, parents. you're also a music artist. So between all of your giving back and your nonprofit work, and then you're also a music artist on top of that. How do you fit everything into a day? Uh, He's like, uh, uh, just trying my um, best to make it happen. <laughs> God, God. And, you know, um, for some people that might sound a little cliche, but it really is Never. him. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
it really is him. I don't know how I do it sometimes. Sometimes I'm actually in a season of where I'm just like, I need to take a break, mm -hmm. but I understand too my gifting and I also understand my calling and the anointing on my life, you know what I'm saying? So I really just pray for wisdom and I also just pray that, you know, God leads me in the way that he wants me to go and yes. that's what makes it work. Well, we pray for the same thing and we're so glad that you were able to bring your skills and your knowledge oh, and your you. want to be here in Dallas and thank to be able to spread you. your positivity. So thank you so much for sharing with thank us this morning. You. We pray that you go as far as whatever the Lord wants for you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Jane, over to you. Super fast.